Welcome to Brayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this uh, trapezoid A, B, C, D. And inside is the circle O, which is uh, uh, inscribed in this uh, trapezoid and tangent to the sides of the trapezoid. And a line is drawn from E to F such that it passes through the center of the circle. And the segments uh, are EG intersecting to the to this circle at g three units and the diameter is 12 and from h to f the it is a uh, eight units so uh, uh this line i mean this passes through the center of the circle this uh, line ef okay and is a uh, parallel to uh segment dc and we are required to find the length of the lower base, which is uh, DC. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is we need to draw the length defining the radius. So since the diameter is 24, so the radius uh, will be 12. So from O to I, it is 12 units. And this uh, O to J, this is 12 units. And from O to the bottom, so this is actually a 12 units and this is also 12 units and this is 12 units okay and we need to draw the tangency so these are point of tangency put 90 degree angles here okay 90 degree angle and 90 degree angle here okay so next is how uh, we consider the angles uh cut by I mean the angles formed by these uh, two parallel lines in the transversal AD. So tri parallel lines are EF and CD cut by transversal AD. So we can call this as a, I mean, uh, let's call this alpha. And this it should be alpha. Because if you have a parallel line cut by a transversal, then these two uh, angles should be congruent. So Next is we call this angle la beta, the complement, and this should be also beta, the complement. Okay, so next is for the triangle on the, on this, on the, the pairs on the right. So we have here uh, theta, let's call this angle theta, and this is theta also. Because these two parallel lines are uh, EF and CD are cut by the transversal BC. Okay, so if these two are parallel, then these, should, these two angles at F and C should be congruent. And since this is a 90, I mean a right triangle, two pairs of a right triangle, then this angle should be, let's call this a uh, sigma. Okay, they should be congruent because of uh, properties of a triangle. If the two are already congruent, then the third one should be, the third pair should be congruent. Okay, so next is I want you to notice for the pair of triangle on the left. So by angle, side angle, congruence. Because they have uh, two angles that are congruent and between them is a segment that is also congruent. So ASA angle, side angle, congruence. And same with these two uh, pairs of triangles on the right. So we have a pair of angles that are congruent and in between them is a 12 unit segment. And they are both right triangles. So by ASA, they, these two pairs are actually congruent. Okay, so next is uh, we need to get uh, this length uh, IE and this length uh, JF. Okay, so for the length IE, we can actually use a tangent secant theorem. So tangent secant theorem. So for that uh, angle, I mean tangent secant theorem. 
for the length of EI since this is a tangent segment so we need to square this it is equal to the secant segment the whole secant segment and that is 24 plus 3 so 24 plus 3 times the external which is a 3 EH so this becomes a 24 plus 3, this becomes a 27 times 3 is equal to EI square. So, becomes 81 EI square. So, EI equal to 9 units. And for the length JF, so, okay, so JF is actually the tangent segment. So we need to square this. It is equal to the product of the whole secant segment, which is uh, this length, 24 plus 8. So this becomes uh, 32 times this external secant segment, which is uh, 8. So 8. So this gives us uh, JF square is equal to 256. And the square root of uh, this so it becomes jf this becomes uh, jf is equal to 16 so this length is actually a 16 okay so earlier that we, we have proved that this uh, triangle the two pairs of right triangles are actually congruent this pair of this triangle is congruent with this triangle and this also is congruent with this triangle and if they are congruent then the side opposite the beta for this this triangle at the bottom on the for the pair on the left so opposite beta is nine okay nine units and for this uh, pair on the right the side opposite the sigma is 16 so this becomes a 16 okay and if we project the lengths of this uh of this uh segment ef to the bottom so this becomes a three so three and this diameter is a 24 so 24 we draw a line downwards that is 24 and this remaining is actually 8 units. Okay, so now for the final step, it is now easy to find the length of the base. So we can call the base as a uh, DC. So DC is simply equal to 9 plus 3 plus 24 plus 8 plus 16. And DC uh so total value of 60 units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye